I've logged into my UDM Pro and what I'm gonna do right now is a speed test. As you can see, I have Bell as my service and I have ordered three gig by three gig service. What I'm receiving though is gonna be far less than that. So I'm getting about one gig by one gig. So it's just under one gig by one gig. Uh, and that is gonna be a limitation of the port. What I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna be installing this SFP plus adapter. So the way I'm gonna set this up is I'm gonna be connecting an ethernet cable on one end of it. The other end is gonna go into the back of my bell modem. Now it's not gonna be plugged into just any port. There's a specific port, which is this one right over here that I'm gonna be plugging it into. And this port is enabled for 10 gigabit speeds. Once we have this set up, we'll go ahead and come back over here onto my desktop and we'll test out the speed. Here's my bell modem. It is the GigaHub. And over here on the back, we have a few different ports. So this is gonna be the fiber that's going in. And then you have your typical WAN ports right over here one, two, three, and four. And then we have this one right over here. This is gonna be the gigabit port and that's one that we're gonna be connecting to. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna disconnect this. I'm gonna leave it disconnected just for a moment here. And this is the SFP plus 10 gigabit adapter right over here. Take this and I'm gonna plug the ethernet port in. Okay, so now it's plugged in over here and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. Okay, that's all the way in. We're taking the other end, and now we're gonna be plugging it into the gigabit port. Okay, so now that's plugged in. This is great, we're gonna go down, down to here. All right, so it looks like we have connectivity on both ends now. What we'll do is we'll go and test it out. Over here on the dashboard, you can see my UDM Pro is now using the uplink of 10 gigabits, so that's great. What I wanna do is make sure that the port is enabled on my Bell modem. So I'm gonna go into my Bell modem, and we're going to look at advanced settings. So right now I'm setting the 10 gigabit port from speed to auto and duplex is also going to be auto. I'm going to save these settings. I'm going to close it. To confirm the speed on the modem, we'll just test it out right now by running a speed test. So we have 3.18 going up and 3.22 going down. This is right from the modem. So we're trying to get as close to this as possible using the UDM Pro. Okay, so I'm back at my switch and what we wanna do is go over here into the Unify section, select our UDM Pro. I'm gonna go into the port manager of it and we're going to select the SFP Plus port. So once we're inside here, by default, it's on automatically negotiate. Now this I actually thought would automatically switch between one and 10 gigabits per second. I didn't see that actually happen. When I ran the test, I was still getting one gig. If you manually switch it to 10 gigabits per second, apply the changes, this will actually update the settings properly. I definitely let me know in the comments below if this works for you in the auto setting. We're gonna go ahead and run the speed test now. I'm gonna jump over to the dashboard. Let's go ahead and run the speed test now and see what we get. There we go. So my upload and download speed is now over three gigabits per second. That was my issue. It says I'm over 100% right now. So I'd like to know in your case, did you have to manually switch the SFP plus port to 10 gigabits or can you leave it on auto? For me, in my experience, I had to switch it on auto, but that's how you do it. That's how you get up and running and maximize the speed that you're getting from your ISP. If you thought this video was useful, please smash the like. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.